Third one, this Vector Action. And I've got one of the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron Mystery Vehicle Figure Packs. So we're going to unbox today. What is this one? Number 221, 222 pickups. Getting the dates for them. And you can see it's a Scout Pass. Extra scale, flight stand, not improving the ATMC. So there's eight vehicles to choose from in the Scout class. Collector 8, and you see we've got the Speeder Bike with Biker Scout, Darth Maul with Speeder, the Sokatana the Speeder, and the Mandalorian with Speeder, the Country with Speeder, and you've got the Chase vehicles down there. It's got pretty cool artwork and everything on there. And Michael Galaxy Squadron Mystery Vehicle, I think it's launch edition. Jazz Wears. And then you see on the back here, it's dated 4th of 1st, 2022. 4th of 1st of April, 2022. There's also 14th of April as well. All the ones I saw are just the 1st of April. And there you have it. Very cool. Right, so to open it. Let's get the scissors. How are we going to open it? That's the question. Okay. Ah, well, just use my nail to wake in. Let's see what we've got. Right, so here we go. I think we've got it in there. Yep, here we are. Let's get this open. And which one have we got? Oh, fantastic. We've got the clone trooper with the ATR suit, which is the one I wanted. It's one of the ones I wanted. That's fantastic stuff. I do have the Republic gunship from the Action Fleet line, so this guy would go really nicely with that. There he is. Hmm, it's alright. Obviously, the paint applications aren't the greatest, but as a clone trooper, not bad. Very cool. So that's him. His legs do move individually as well, which is not this, you know, you can't do that with action fleet. Oh, do they move individually? Yeah, they do. Action fleet doesn't have that. The legs are normally stuck together. And inside here, we have the ATRT. Fantastic. Brilliant. That's the best one, to be honest with you. Now, how do we get it out of the bubble? Get yeah, it out a bit of a pain. Oh, the leg just popped off. The legs are, the legs can come off. Trying to get it out of the bubble is going to be harder than it should be. Doesn't bend plastic. There we have it. Right, so the leg just reattaches. So there is some possibility there in the legs. There we have it. We've got the ATRT. Fantastic. That's, that's one I wanted. I like all of them. And there's the gun also moves as well. So that's really cool. You can see, got some great detail on that. Out of all the ones, I think this is the best one. But I would have been happy with any of the others as well. But I'm quite glad to have the ATRC. Like I said, I had the action I had the action fleet part of the gunship, but no clone troopers in that scale would put with it. So to pilot it, no I do. Very cool stuff. And they are going to release another with public ownership, so that's interesting. Public L A E T, which is its full name in Star Wars. The Star's coming. Uh, very cool, very nice. It's got the green stripe on it. The legs move individually. The turret swivels. The turret turns, so that's really cool. Yep, definitely the coolest one out of these blind boxes so far. Right, that's been Retroaction, very cool stuff, I didn't get a rubbish one, would have been nice to get a chase, but this is fantastic, I really like this, that's great, it would go very nicely with the action fleet vehicles I have from the Galactic Republic, with the ATT and the Republic Gunship, they now have a pilot, the only Republic Gunship can really fit figures, the ATT, the ATT is not big enough, the cockpit is too small, but it would look good alongside it. Like some sort of episode 2 battle soon. Right, anyway, this has been Retraction. I'll see you next time. Definitely get one of these blind boxes. Very cool stuff. Though, obviously, no, I'm not a big fan of the whole blind box thing. I will be keeping the packaging for this. I'll probably keep it in the packaging if 
because we're going to display it with the actual fleet vehicles. It should be because these figures seem to be smaller. But first impressions, I do like the figures. The plastic is quite nice. And uh, yeah, overall, it's not bad. A good start to the line for me. Yeah, I'll definitely be opening the razor press. I'm not going to open that anyway, but I'm not going to do that on camera. I might do a reveal on it. Which I'm probably going to go, it's probably going to be the same thing for all of the Micro Galaxy Squadron that I pick up. All the vehicles I pick up from that line, I'm going probably going to do reviews on. So, yeah, very cool. Right, anyway, it's for retroaction. See you all next time. Bye for now.